Who are you again? <laughs> so my name is Mike Fennell, uh, and I manage the engineering team for Facebook Platform. Okay, and where are we? Um, so we're in uh, our new office building. We've been here for about a week and a half. Um, we, we used to be spread out amongst, amongst a bunch of buildings in downtown Palo Alto, and now we're all in one big building, um, which we spend a time re uh, some time renovating. Uh, we're on the ground floor here, and behind us is our design team, which does all the UI work for the site. And this uh, is probably only one-eighth or one-sixteenth of this building. It's one, like, 32nd or 64th, yeah. Um, it's a pretty massive building. I think there's, uh, there's many hundreds of us that now work here um, on these two floors. So. Yeah, very cool. One thing I keep hearing from people I talk to on, on my Facebook page and, and other places is I, I'm still not sure that Facebook's the place for business. You know, it, it's obviously the place for my college kid to talk to me or my friends. My, my wife is totally addicted to it. She talks to you know, people she hasn't seen, seen for 20 years, but it's still not in, in her head that it's a place to follow businesses or for a business to talk to normal people like that. Um, what do you think about that and how, are, how is Facebook gonna help normal people see that Facebook is also a great place to talk to businesses like that or uh, follow businesses? Um, I think I think Facebook is like a place for conversations, and there's all different types of conversations. And I think, um, I think it's one of those things when you see it, it sort of pretty immediately clicks, right? So like when um, when a restaurant um, when a restaurant posts some updates about some menu changes or that like they're gonna have this this they're they're gonna be featuring this particular dish for like the week or what have you. Um, People, especially with the, the the redesign of the page, people really engage around that comment. They like comment it, they like it. There's um, there's just uh, there's a feeling of like activity and conversation around the thing um, that is much more I think like dynamic and engaging than just like a website where there's some bullet points about what exactly they're doing. Yeah. Um, and so I think it's if if businesses like want to engage their like their customers and their fans in a conversation, um, it's just a really interesting interactive way to do it. Um, and it's a it's kind of like a forum for that conversation as opposed to email, which is really like, um, as a business, you can send like 80 million emails and each person will get that single email, but there's no like engagement around that. Whereas if I, if I post a single update and, you know, 100 people comment and 10 of those people are my friends, my like emotional attachment to that message and my desire to read it is just very different than, you know, a blanket email. Yeah. Tell me uh, what what things you've seen that businesses are, are doing well on Facebook. Uh, you know, what is what would you like to see a perfect business like? My brother has a bar, right? What would he do with a Facebook page? So I think so. Uh, it's it's Tuesday and it's uh, tonight. Tonight is like Game Three of the Stanley Cup Finals, uh, and I I, can't, I don't know if we have cable set up here yet. Uh, and so I actually very much want to watch the game. And so I. I don't know where to go yet. I, I have to. I'm probably going to go like look afterwards to figure out what bar is like around in Palo Alto where I can go look at it. Um, but if it was, um, if it was possible for like uh, my favorite bar to create a page and then just like w let me know like about events that are happening at the bar, whether it's like pub trivia or whether it's like, hey, we're going to be broadcasting the the game tonight at 5 p.m. and we should come. There are drink specials, blah blah blah. Um, that would be. Uh, if it was like my favorite place, I'd be like very happy to become a fan, and that would just like be interesting information for me. Um, and it's it's really temporal information, right? They're not you're not going to use it and say like in three months we're going to do we're going to you know do such and such. It's like hey tonight we're going to be having like we're going to be broadcasting this game, and then I, I go to Facebook, I see everything that's happened in the past couple hours, and I see that, and I'm like okay, I'll go there to like go watch the game. Yeah. One thing businesses tell me is I don't want to send my customers away to somewhere else. You know, I don't want to have my customers go to a Facebook page because they might just go to Facebook and forget about me, right? That's a traditional fear of businesses. They always uh, you know, want to hold on to their customers and don't let them leave. Is there a way, way for me to put Facebook's pages or information on my business on my own website? And tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, so I think there's, there's basically like, there's a spectrum, right? If you're, if you're a bar, you probably aren't spending that much time doing web design and building like really elaborate web pages. And so in that case, uh, what we try to do on Facebook is make it really easy for you to create a presence. So you can create a page, you can upload a picture, and then we try to make it really easy to sort of manage that presence and communicate with, uh, communicate with your fans. Um, if you have a more active web presence, if you have a like pretty elaborate website, uh, if you have if you have a sem semi elaborate website, then by all means we want you to be able to connect with your fans on that website. And what we've been doing is we've, we've been building a bunch of um, widgets that you can basically drop on that site. 
to sort of automatically and pretty easily get um, social context. Um, so one of the ones that we launched recently was uh, a comments widget. So um, you could basically um, drop this thing anywhere you have interesting content on the site, whether if you have a blog or whether you like upload photos of dishes or things like that, you can drop this comments widget. Um, and it does a bunch of sort of really nice things. One, it's really, really easy to use. It's just like 15 or 20 characters and you, you, know, you just drop this like FB colon comments tag in your thing and you get this like pretty good looking box. Um, now you just but, said a lot of Greek to a lot of people, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. You, I um, understand what you just said, but sorry, it's, it's really, really. <laughs> so easy. you have a WordPress blog because a lot of businesses have that. Yeah. And you have a template, and so you just copy the code and put it in your template. Yeah, in like website. thirty seconds or so, you can basically enable. Um, you can enable two types of things. You can basically enable users to comment with their Facebook identity, and it has a bunch of great benefits. One, instead of having random names on your site, you have like you have people's real identity, their real name, and their profile picture. Um, and especially if it's kind of a close-knit business where like, there's a high probability that my friends also engage with that, that business, I can actually see my friends like, talking about that and engaging around that. Um, two, when I comment on that, um, that can automatically, uh, the user can publish that back to Facebook. And so then all of that user's friends on Facebook will see that content and you know, either discover a new place they didn't know about or discover something interesting about a place that they did and just generally get, uh, create engagement. Um, but, and, and then even, third, uh, even um, third from that, if you have a really elaborate website, if you're someone like Dig or whether you're, um, uh, if you're a city searcher, if you're some, just a site where you have a dedicated engineering team for building your website, um, we also have the ability to sort of deeply embed Facebook functionality throughout the site, right? So um, Dig has, um, for if you're if you're just a, uh, a, a kind of common website or an average website, it's it's really easy to just drop this one line thing in. But if you're dig and you're going to do this sort of major engineering effort to weave Facebook integration throughout the site, that's also possible using the full Facebook Connect API. Yeah. How can I drive traffic to my brother's bar bar's uh, Facebook page? Because just creating a page doesn't get a lot of people to know about his bar and come over to his bar. Um, yeah. So I think there's. Um, I think there's like three ways in general, right? There's um, one is if you have an existing website and you have existing um, traffic and users to that website, it's really easy on the website to add this button that says go like find me on Facebook or follow me on Facebook. Um, and that's what happened in the case of Gurgit Hills. I went to their website and then I discovered that they had a page. Um, on Facebook uh, as well, in every, on every page there's a search box in the top right and you can just search for whatever there um, and then find the, find the that entity's presence on Facebook and then interact with it there. Um, and then I think the third one, which is really what's kind of unique to Facebook and where the value, um, um, where a bunch of value comes from, is that when my friends are interacting with different businesses or different entities or what have you, um, I can, um, especially when they sh actively share content on that site or when they actively engage with it, I can see that and discover things that way. Um, and so a lot of... Um, so if we were friends on Facebook, I would have seen you talking about that winery, the Grigich Hills winery, right? Exactly, so if I become a fan of that, then on Facebook you'd see that I became a fan of that, and you might also go engage around that. Yeah. Um, and I think the same is true for restaurants or what have you. If I go and I comment on something on their site, or if I see something really interesting and I click share and I decide to share it back to Facebook, all of my friends will see that, um, and then some percentage of them will click back to your site and will get traffic that way. I, I've been talking to some business owners who are incenting their customers to talk about them on Facebook, you know, to engage with their page or leave a comment so that their friends would see the yogurt shop or the bike shop that they're, is Facebook cool with that? And are they encouraging that kind of behavior where, let's say, if I owned a restaurant, I'd give you a free dessert if you went to Facebook and left a comment? Uh, everyone loves free dessert, so that sounds good to me. Um, I was at, yeah, I mean, I, I stopped when I was there. I also went to Sonoma and I went to this restaurant in uh, St. Helena. and. It was really funny. Um, I, I was actually laughing. They just had this like big, printed out eight and a half by eleven sign that said, "Like you know, follow me on Facebook." Um, and it was just like in Times New Roman font or something. And I thought it was really funny that someone had taken the time to create this sign of "Follow me on Facebook." Um, so clearly, like people are trying to to reach out to their. Basically, they're trying to get a a communication channel to their to their customers. Yeah. Um, and so, if they want to advertise it on the you know, the side of their building or inside their place or uh, on ads online or on Facebook. That all sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, so. Is there anything, la any last thing that we need to know? Um, I, think the, uh, I think the thing that in the long term is going to be really interesting is basically using your friends as a social filter for what's like really, what's really good and what you want. So if I like, 
If I go to a bar, I want to know what like my friends' favorite drinks are at the bar. If I go to a restaurant, I want to know what my friends' favorite dishes are, separate from like just the the general favorite dishes. Um, if I if I go to a winery, I want to know what the like the best wines are, or what what my friends think are like the best or the most interesting. Um, and so I think. Um, I think the world will move towards this place where you can use your friends to discover things. I mean, in real life, this is exactly how like uh, information spreads, right? Like uh, word of mouth is like huge yeah. in terms of like, well, what do I, what bottle of wine do I want to go buy? I'll ask a bunch of people and then and pick one. I think Facebook and integrating Facebook into the experience on a bunch of these sites and, and a bunch of these businesses has the ability to just make make it so that users can more easily find what they want. Um, and I think that whether it's like favorite dishes or wines or drinks or what have you, um, I think that's kind of where the world is going. Very cool. So. Well, thanks so much for uh, sharing a, a few minutes with me and uh, teaching me about uh, how Facebook views the world of business. Cool, yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks.